So, ladies and gentlemen, the NFL trade deadline was earlier today at 4 p.m. A lot of shit happened. Right. Like crazy stuff, right? Um, some that pissed me off. Some was like, just like, wow. But regardless, whatever happened, Sam Bam, yo, what is the biggest trade or not? Yeah, what's the biggest trade that happened that surprised you or shocked you? Bro, TJ Hawkinson for freaking what? Two, two draft picks? Bro, there's no way I would have ever got rid of that man. That man would have stayed aligned to the end of days, bro. There's no way you get rid of a top five tight end right now in a game so young, so promising. Man, I would have never done that for anything. What are, the, what are the Lions doing? What are they thinking about right now? I don't know what the hell, bro. I don't know what the hell, man. Yeah, Lee yeah. TJ, I guess, man, this man is top five, bro. He's top five. That was that was an idiotic move, man, for the Lions. And then after that, then after that, Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb to the Dolphins for what a first round pick is a first round pick and Chase Edmonds. I haven't heard of Chase Edmonds, man, in probably like two, three years, man. Like, I don't, yeah, I guess, I guess he was disgruntled. So he wanted is to get, he wanted to get ghosts. Yeah, he wanted to get ghosts or whatever. But man, these trades are crazy as hell. What about yeah, it? Was the fir- it was the first round pick that, that was sexy about that one. As far as the Lions, I refuse to waste any more time trying to dissect what's going on with them. <laughs> Figure those guys out. Wow. Man, fuck. I've already touched on that earlier. I, I don't even want to talk about them no more. They're fucking stupid. That's why we'll always be nothing. Whatever. Man. But yeah, that Bradley Chubb was crazy because the I thought the Broncos, from what I understood, were pretty stern on. They didn't want to like move him. And why would you? Like, bro, you're not like in rebuild mode. Like, why why mm-hmm. get rid of him for a first round pick? Like, you think they're gonna be as good? Well, at least it's a first rounder. I'm sitting up here knocking D- Denver for taking a first rounder when the Lions just Hot for a fucking. Whew. Moving yeah. on. Oh I my god! Pain. I feel your pain, my brother. No, you don't. No, you do <laughs> not. You can never feel my pain being a Detroit oh, sports fan, bro. Your teams are winners, <laughs> bro. Yeah, you're right about that. You're right. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm gonna record that double time. Put it in the intro. You're right because I ain't gonna hear that shit again. But I do. <laughs> right about that. And another thing, it was a total shit day to me because not only did the Lions do that dumb shit like we mentioned earlier, they traded them in division, Sam, to the Vikings right. who play twice a year. The next time the Lions play the Dolphins this year, I bet you Hawkinson goes off for 150 and two touchdowns, which oh, I, I will correct. I'll be cheering when for he, him. He could do, when he could do any <clears throat> time with any quarterback, really. That man then, is a monster. Yeah, he is a if, monster, bro. If that wasn't bad enough, the Bears got Chase Claypool today. Right. Like they got him for a second That's round. Big. That's big. That's big. I like Chase, man. I like Chase. He's really, he's really talented guy. Second rounder. Yep. A second rounder, bro. Man, but the craziest thing of the day, the Jaguars still being the Jaguars, <laughs> picking up, picking up a suspended player, Calvin Ridley, <laughs> money line Ridley. <laughs> I am Calvin Ridley. Let me I'm spend a, a little bit on on that Ridley, okay? Money line, really, man. You you got traded to the Jaguars, so not only is your career suspended, now pretty much your career is over because you just went to the to the wide receiver graveyard, literally. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. You know, I'm gonna we gotta find uh, Calvin Ridley's Twitter, and I'm gonna tweet him. I'm gonna be like, dude. Let me get your inside information. Let me get your bets on how many games y'all will win next year with Trevor Lawrence. Hell no. I couldn't believe that either, but whatever. Man. It was madness, dude. It was a lot of madness. Like, I'm going through all these shits right now. Like, just little shit, too. And then uh, the, the Colts traded, what, Naheim Hines? Hines? Yeah, they traded him. Yeah. Mm. yeah, the Bills got him. The Bills need a running right. back, too. So Right. And that dude, he's know, great at catching know. out the background. I don't know if he'll be. Yeah, right. I don't. I don't he's know not, where his position. I don't know. I don't know where he's gonna fit in. I don't know where he's, he's gonna not fit. a solid every down back. No, he's a pass right. catching running back. He's got. So hand, what are yeah, we gonna have? All three backs trying to combine, trying to get plays. Everybody get like fifteen plays. I don't get dude, it. I don't know. You should have. You should have got somebody elite. You should have got you uh, one elite running back or something like that or whatever. A difference maker. 
he's not a difference maker like that, I don't feel like, you know? No, he's not. No, he's not. He's got me some uh, fantasy points, though, for as a felon. So, you know, I, I had to shout him out there anyway. Right. So, dude, why is Odell Beckham Jr. not with the team right now? Like, what's going on? Is he, like, still recovered from injury, or is he just waiting for, like, playoff? Like, what's going on with that, you know? I think it's still the injury as well, because, you know, he's been hurt a couple times or whatever. So, those ACLs ain't nothing to be played with, man. So, you got to be all the way ready. Um. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna pick his team. He's going to definitely pick his team. Whoever is the top team in the league, whatever, he'll probably jump on. I know he's talking about he wanted to be with the Bills. I know he was talking about Tampa Bay at one point in time. Or the so, Giants return too, maybe. Right, right. And they just traded uh, Kadarius Tony. They traded uh, Tony. Did you see that? Right. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. I forgot who he went to offhand, but, yeah, I, I did see that. I he went to either. But, yeah, man, they just traded him, man. That's crazy as hell. So, like I said, man, he's, he's going to pick and choose or whatever, man. He, I mean, I think he deserves it, man. I, I really like OBJ, but, I mean, what, what, what else is there, man? Like, I think – I really think you should retire, man. I think you I think you about done. Like I said, with all those injuries and stuff like that, not your talent, but those injuries, man, they're going to catch up, man. It's going to be hard for you to walk, you know what I'm saying, later on in life and stuff, bro. You already won your chip. You done got your bread. <laughs> Time to party hard now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man take, man, take that shit to the bank, bro. Man, cash out, bro. You already won, you know? Yeah, that's facts. And, yo, you know how I mentioned Brandon Cooks earlier? I was just reading a thing, uh, reading a report. I don't know how true it is. But um, I am heard that uh, I heard that Brandon Cooks is pissed because he was supposed to have been traded to the Cowboys and the deal fell through. Oh, and he posted like a cryptic tweet or some shit like that. And yeah, man. And he was also out, out of practice. He didn't go to practice today due to personal reasons. Ooh, yeah. Right. So something mm-hmm. fell through. Something didn't go as planned. Right. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's crazy. That's how so it be. That's how I think. Be. I think he want out of there, man. Yeah. Everybody wants out the Texans, man. For real. Sending people high and low. For real. You seen Deshaun Watson want it out and. Then they put all that stuff on him and, you know, all those guys, man, it's just, it's just crazy, for real. That organization, man, is, is in the dumps, man. It's definitely in the dumps because they had the coach, the other coach or whatever, too, that got fired. I think he was saying some crazy stuff as well. What was the other coach that they had? Uh, Bill O'Brien? Yeah. Yeah, he was yeah, saying some crazy stuff. Yeah, for real. Yeah, they and, he was su- and he sucked. You feel he me? He was a sucker. He right. got. He was the coach of Penn State. He got back. And he promised because that was right after Penn State was falling the aftermath of the the scumbag uh, Sandusky scandal. Sandusky, mm-hmm. yeah. So he was like one of the coaches to come in there after all that, and he promised to revamp the team. He was never leaving those kids, and he's gonna bring them up. May stay one year. Took that Texan job, get right. his ass off the league. He's a bum. Fuck out of here. Definitely. Mm-hmm. And then that yeah, owner was man. owner owner was talking some uh, racist stuff as well too. So that's another reason. They're talking about you can't yeah. eat with you can't eat with the with your uh workers. You can't eat I think with I remember workers, something, something like that. that. Yeah. Like the that master's not supposed ago. to eat with the with the workers or something like that or whatever. I don't know exactly, you know what I'm saying, verbatim. But it was something something of that sort, you know. So that pushed people the wrong way, you know. Like, man, I don't know, man. So like I said, the Texans man been down, down, down. Hopkins got ghosts, like everybody got ghosts. So, you know what I'm saying? Bad as they are, they're still not the Lions. Yeah. All Close. these players, all, all, all these players, great players got traded. Lions ain't get motherfucking one. Ain't get one. Ain't Nobody get, wants to go ain't there. Acquire one player. I understand that, but if you if you discuss a trade with a team, the player doesn't have control over that. There's only a few players that have control of where they can go. You know what I'm saying? Like but y'all don't have t- y'all don't have top guys to trade off, except for TJ Hawkinson that y'all traded for. Two uh, gummy bears and a jawbreaker. Dude, are you telling me the Lions couldn't have gave a fucking third, a fourth round pick for fucking uh, Robert Quinn, the defensive end, who we sincerely need? Oh, yeah. Ro- Roquan Smith, we couldn't afford a second round or whatever the oh, fuck yeah. he went. Dude, Definitely. we have draft picks coming out our ass. You can give up one for a known fucking uh, – uh, uh, for a Roquan known – Smith. Smith, definitely. Like yeah, performer. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you could give up a second round pick or a third round pick at least – for a player who is already, right. you know, a Pro Bowl, a Pro Bowl player, 
Like, that's ridiculous. Roquan Smith's leading tackler in fucking football right now, right. and he just got mm-hmm. traded. Right. You know, he ultimately wanted out anyway. He asked for a trade before the season because Chicago does dumb shit. They don't like to pay players. They did that right. shit with Ryan Erlacher for years. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, they just don't take care of their players. That's why you don't hear of a quarterback for that. Who's the best quarterback they ever had? We went over that, too. You know, right. they don't pay him. They don't Jay pay Cutler. their players. They Jay lowball Cutler. them. Yeah. Like, that's, Rose Grossman. that's crazy. Rose Grossman. Then you got Jimmy God. Man, the one that won it. You feel me? But he wasn't super great. But that defense nah. was super awesome. Yeah. The defense right. They awesome. never had no great quarterback. Best of all man. time, probably. Right. Yeah. So, you know, NFL is crazy. Like, like OG Pop said, NFL means not for long. Not for long. <laughs> Temporary. Not for real.